Hey everybody, Bohush here speaking for photodeoxpro.com. And in this video, I want to show you the Free Flight Moto, which is our motorized gimbal system. You can use it to mount an iPhone 5, iPhone 6, or a whole variety of other phones. But Today in this video, we're going to look at how to mount a GoPro. I've got the Hero 4 Black in my hands right now, but you can mount a silver as well. Let's get it out of its case and get that guy ready to go Hollywood. Okay, here's the Free Flight Moto. It comes to you in a case with a handle, so it's easy to take with you. And everything you need is included in the case. So you're ready to go right out of the box. So as you can see, here's all the good stuff. In this bag is a charger because the Free Flight Moto uses special batteries which are included in the kit. It is a, a USB charger so you can hook it up to your computer or a wall charger, whatever you got. You've got a couple pockets in here. You've got a little teeny tiny pocket with a counterweight. That's what you use when you shoot with a phone. We'll do that in another video. Over here are the little batteries which I have charged already. There they are. And then in the middle pocket is the GoPro frame, a GoPro type screw, and some shock absorbent foam, which we'll be using too. And let's get the free flight moto out. That's what it looks like. Okay, here it is. Now you can get yours with red detailing like mine is right here, or you can get it in all black if you're gonna go stealth. And this is the platform on which you mount the camera. As you can see, we've got these jaws. This is what you use when you mount a phone. We're gonna mount the GoPro right here to this uh, screw port, and uh, you will see in a moment how smooth your GoPro footage can be, especially if you're shooting high frame rates. Um, suddenly, the GoPro goes from an awesome action camera into a very cinematic kind of camera when you smooth out the, the kind of wiggles and jarring scenes that you're used to seeing from GoPros. So, let's get it ready for the big time. Take the GoPro and put it in this lightweight frame. You just kind of open this up a little bit. Slip the GoPro in from the front. There's a flap on the back here, so you can't put it in wrong. Like so. There we are. And that gives us a little mounting point on the bottom, the GoPro, as I like to call it. And now, make sure that the the claw switch actuator thing is on the bottom because that's how this will operate. Put the camera right next to it, like so, and then just run the screw through. Now make sure not to over tighten because you can actually make the camera go crooked if you go a little tight, so just tight enough so it doesn't tip. And if you want a little extra shock absorption, Put that block of high density foam in there using the clamp. Hold it down. We're pretty much ready to go. Let's get some batteries in here. Unscrew the bottom. Positive side up. I know you know how to put in batteries, but you know, I gotta say. Screw that guy shut. There's a switch in the bottom. Make sure not to turn on the gimbal when it doesn't have a load because it is designed to operate with a load on it and you don't want to have, you know, problems. So um, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll even give it a little helping hand when I'm firing it up just by supporting, supporting the camera as I turn it on by hitting that button on the bottom. And in a second you can feel, there it is, ready to roll. Now, what the gimbal does for you is it's actually compensating for my movements. So if you're like doing a walking shot or a running shot, as you can see, as I'm tilting my hand around, the camera is staying perfectly level. Also, when I turn my hand, you'll notice I get a nice smooth pan. You know how hard it is to get a pan to look good when your hand held? You need a tripod for that. But no matter what speed I turn my hand, it will give me a nice smooth left and right pan motion. So as you can see, I'm just, I'm really jiggling it like crazy and the camera stays stable. You can also do sort of tilt ups and tilt downs. And uh, what I'll sometimes do is have my phone in my other hand so I can use it as a monitor using the GoPro app so I can see what the GoPro is seeing. But you know, that lens is so wide, it almost doesn't matter. When you're walking around, you're gonna see, you're gonna see it all. And it's a nice way to, like I say, even out the GoPro footage. Normally we're used to seeing kind of shaky GoPro action footage, but now, nice and smooth. If you're shooting 4K, that's super important. 
even better if you're shooting those high frame rates, like 120 frames a second. You can get a beautiful cinematic shot, even if you're walking, even if you're totally handheld, the gimbal will smooth out that motion. If you're looking to find out the runtime with the included batteries, it's a little hard to say because it really depends on how much you're moving around. It depends on the temperature. Rechargeable batteries are very temperature sensitive. Plus, uh, it also depends on the load. You know, whether you're shooting with a phone or whether you're shooting with a GoPro. Uh, if you look down below, we ran a couple tests. This is a very rough estimate. What I found is using the batteries that come in the kit, uh, I was able to shoot outdoors on location for around two hours. I was turning off the gimbal between shots uh, and I still had power left over. So for my needs, I was able to get plenty of juice out of the batteries that come with the kit. Now, don't forget the free flight moto is versatile enough that you can mount your phone on it as well. Click right here to check out a video where I demonstrate how to do that. And uh, don't forget to click below this video to learn even more about the free flight moto and how you can make one your very own today. And don't forget to click right here to subscribe. You can get more how-to videos just like this one. My name is Bahush. Thanks for watching.